Hi, I'm Samantha McDouglas from TheBridgeTeachers.com. Come look over my shoulder at a bidding problem. Let's review the auction up to this point. The meanings I'm going to give for these bids apply to both Standard American and 2 over 1. It doesn't matter which one you're playing. Our partner was the dealer and passed. Our right-hand opponent opened two spades, showing six spades and a weak hand. We would play this as 5 to 10 points. Our hand bid Michaels. You don't have to know Michaels to follow along with this video. What you do need to know is that this shows a two-suited hand showing five hearts and five cards in a minor and a strong hand. Our left-hand opponent passed. Our partner bid four hearts. Our partner is compelled to bid. They may not pass because if they pass, the contract will be three spades. Since East has six spades, this is not where we want to play. We've told partner that we have a two-suited hand. Partner is simply choosing one of our suits. Our right-hand opponent passed, we passed, and now West bid four spades. Our partner passed, and our right-hand opponent passed again, and it is our turn to bid. What would you bid? I would bid five diamonds. So the first thing that I would say to you, and the most important thing is, you can't pass. Your hand is too good. The opponents have made a sacrifice over your game bid, which was probably making. You need to either continue to bid so that you get your game bonus, or you need to double the opponents for making a sacrifice over your game. You should not be passing. So what we're going to be discussing is the choice between double and bidding at the five level. I would bid five diamonds instead of five hearts to give partner a choice of which contract to play in case diamonds plays better. But at the very least, I would be bidding five hearts. So if you chose five hearts instead of five diamonds, that's perfectly fine. That is going to be a good contract. What I don't like here is double, and I'm going to walk you through the math of why. When we talk about sacrifices, we look at vulnerability. And you don't have to know the exact points, but you do have to have the foundation. So the foundation of this math is that our non-vulnerable games are worth around 400 points. It doesn't have to be exact, you just have to know it's around 400. Our vulnerable games are worth around 600 points. When we are doubled and we go down non-vulnerable, it is 100 for the first trick, 300 for the second trick, 500 for the third trick, and 300 for every trick after that. When we are vulnerable and we go down, it is 200 for the first trick, 500 for the second trick, 800 for the third trick, and 300 for every trick after that. When you are first faced with this decision, the first thing you want to think about is which of these two contracts is going to be making. In other words, are we making five hearts or five diamonds? And are the opponents making four spades. This is important because if neither contract is making, you obviously would not want to bid five diamonds or five hearts. If one of the two contracts is making, we may now want to bid depending on the math. If we think that four spades is making and five hearts is not making, then we have to consider that four spades as a non-vulnerable game because the opponents are non-vulnerable is around 400 points. If we bid five hearts, how many can we go down and still have a better score than minus 400? Only one. Because we are vulnerable, it will be 200 for the first trick and 500 for that second trick, which will be greater than just letting them play and make four spades. If four spades is not making and five hearts is, now we have to think about how many tricks we have to set four spades to equal the loss of our game. By bidding five hearts, if we make five hearts, we get around 600 points because we are vulnerable. When we're doing this math, vulnerability becomes very important. If you are white, you are not vulnerable. If you are red, you are vulnerable. So here you can see that north-south, our side, is vulnerable, and east-west, the opponents, are not vulnerable. 
If we are making five hearts, that is a vulnerable game and will be worth around 600 points. So in order to set four spades enough to make up for the loss of our vulnerable game, we would have to set them 100, 300, 500, 800. We would have to set them four tricks to make up for the loss of our vulnerable game. So you want to look at the hand and start by thinking, is four spades making, is five hearts making, and which one is going to score better? In this case, I would suggest it is highly unlikely that four spades is making. Although the opponents probably have the preponderance of the spades, even without any help from partner, it is likely that we will be taking four tricks and four spades is not making. So then the next question we want to ask ourselves is, do we think that five hearts is making? I would suggest on this hand, it is fairly likely. We have two heart losers, a club loser, and two diamond losers, and we need very little from partner to cover this. If we imagine for a moment that partner has the king of hearts with two little hearts and the jack of diamonds, we are probably going to be making five hearts. Since this auction suggests that both opponents are weak because Wes didn't bid four spades until after we bid four hearts, I think that it is likely that partner is bringing something to the table and therefore likely that five hearts is making. When we look at the sacrifice math, if five hearts is making, we have to set four spades for tricks. And while I'm confident that four spades isn't making, I don't think we're going to set it for tricks. If five hearts is making, it's very important to then bid five hearts. Five hearts making five is going to score better than four spades doubled down even three tricks because that will only be 500. Let's look at the hand. When we bid five hearts, it is likely that we are going to make five hearts. Depending on how we choose to play the hand, we will probably lose one heart and one diamond. We will almost certainly be making this hand, and depending on how the defense chooses to defend, we may actually be making an over trick. If we look at spades, the person who held our hand actually doubled four spades instead of bidding five hearts, and even with Declarer misplaying the hand, only set the contract three for 500. This is not a good exchange because we were making at least 650 with our vulnerable game and we only collected 500 points for doubling four spades. So our sacrifice math, you have to be thinking about how much the game that you're losing is worth and how many tricks you can defeat the contract by and how many points that will get you. These are important numbers to know and I know it's a lot to memorize, but when you're making this decision, it is essential to know them. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching our videos and for liking and subscribing. We now have over a thousand followers and it's all thanks to you.